And you can tell we're in Michigan. Got old tractor signs out here. Yeah, I rode it around the yard and down the road to make sure uh, it works a little better. What is going on, my followers? This is Brock, Life from the Wild Side, baby. We out here back in Michigan, a great state, my home state, a lovely state. Uh, we're about to get after it today on a nice mile, tempo mile workout here. This is my first, what I would call, a big workout of marathon training. Um, I'm pretty excited for it. Was gonna do it in the Dirty Dale, but uh, there's snow on the track, so uh, we decided to opt for going to Concord, Michigan here on the Fallen Waters Trail. It's flat, pretty damn straight, not a lot of roads, and uh, I'm gonna roll this workout. Um, 15 minute warm up. Uh, Drills, six strides, and then a mile, mile 450 to five flat, two to three minute recovery, and then a six mile tempo, 515 to 525, and then two to three minute recovery, and then an all out mile to cap things off. It's gonna be a hell of a workout, so stick with us. Uh, Fletcher on the bike, let's rock and roll, baby. Woo! Here we go. Here we go. All right, baby, here's a uh, one mile. Here Hey -o. uh coming to you guys with a week four of Boston Marathon training recap. Um, start things off on Monday, I had a real chill 25 to 30 minute run, super basic, back in Michigan. And then uh, Tuesday, I had my first legit workout of Boston training. I had a mile, Temple Mile. It went it went well, um, ran my mile in about, my first mile in about 4.57, I believe. And then my tempo was in the 520 to 525 range for six miles and then finished off with another mile at uh, uh, 453, I believe. So pretty good workout. Rest of the week was just some base mileage and some strides and lifts and stuff. Um, nothing too crazy. Saturday, I uh, did a, I paced a 5K at Hillsdale College. Took them through two miles at uh, three flat a K or yeah, three flat at K pace, so 15 flat. Something super basic, just jumped into that. And then Sunday, uh, I got the pleasure of doing my long run workout with my mom who drove along. Um, little did I know she was roasting me the majority of the run while uh, she was filming and I was running. So that'll provide some good entertainment here in a second for you guys. And overall, training's going well. Um, we're here starting week five and uh, excited for the process and cannot, no complaints so far. So keep along for the journey. All right, keeping Brock in the rear view mirror here, balancing my coffee. Uh, it's a little bit soupy, a little bit foggy, but gonna be a great run for Brock today. There it is. So Brock just told me this is like my whole morning. I don't know, some crazy workout involving hours and uh, hey, I downs did, and I Lord, gave her a warning. All I really right. would like to watch Michigan State play basketball today. I may have to make a coffee stop. I've only got three quarters of a cup. <laughs> Extreme, 
extremely right wing, hard to live in. Oh yeah, I don't put any political stuff in my videos, oh, Mom. Oh, sorry, you can bleep that out. Um, so tell, tell, you know, kind of describe running in Hillsdale County. So running in Hillsdale County is really great because you got a lot of hills, you got dirt roads, you got flat areas, you got trails, and you got grass. Now the one downside to running in Hillsdale is all the people, I should say all the people, but there's some people in Hillsdale County that really don't like athletic people or people that work out. And they try hitting you when they go by or push you off the road or yell very, uh, threw some comments at you, so. Interesting my... because you know that the motto of Hillsdale is, quote, it's the people, close quote. So when we say it's the people, that can be a good thing or that can be a bad thing. Um, you know, Brock did tons of really great things, but I just don't think those are interesting. I find interesting the other things. For instance, because we both worked at, I worked at the high school, he was going to the high school, I got a call um, to come down because he had passed out. Passed out? Yeah. Well, Brock, what were you doing? And he was giving a speech, but apparently it was a bit much for him and he just passed out. He was also very stubborn. He climbed everything, everything, dangerously climbed everything. Um, but again, he did do lots of good things. I just, those are probably pretty boring. All right, Brock. So, a lot of guys, especially maybe younger, but maybe married, maybe a little older than you, feel like you have the life. So like you travel, you run, you hang out with your buddies. What do you think? Do you have the life? Oh, I have the good life in my personal humble opinion. So how long do you think that'll last? Uh, probably at least a couple more years. And then I plan on buying property and building a cabin in a barn and going from there. Ooh, I like that plan. All right, so we've got another hill, another story. Uh, Brock had a very smart friend. Like, this kid was genius friend. His name's Ethan. Um, but every time they would get together, they would do something really, really stupid. So one of the last times in high school, uh, Brian and I got woken up as Brock was brought home in a police car with Spencer. And... Um, They've been on top of the buildings in downtown Hillsdale. You know, th these are storefronts on the bottom, apartments on the top. So people called the police because there were people running around on top of their, you know, on top of their apartment. So we talked to him, we're like, bruh, people live up there. And he goes, ah, uh, who knew? So we had a very long ride the next morning to a college visit with both of them because you know, we take that stuff seriously. You get, we can tease him now. I don't know, he's just a great kid. So yeah, I, I kind of sold a few stories on him, but he's awesome. So let's see how his workout's going. All right, how's it feeling? Or do you not talk during this well, not part? Yet. Do you not talk during the strenuous part? How's it going? It's going. Start the first one. Right on pace. All right. I can't wait to go to Boston. I'm glad you're doing all this work so I can have a little Boston vacay. <laughs> hey, buddy. A lot of fantastic qualities. I kind of am feeling a little bad now. I told so many stories on them, but you know, they're kind of funny. We as parents couldn't laugh then, but it's fun to laugh now. All okay. right, so we just got through rep one of the workout part of the long run. 10 minutes at 5.42 average, so we're just between 5.45 and 5.30. It's a good first rep. Two minutes in between the sets, we got four of these reps. And uh, yeah, we're gonna try working down to 5.30 by the last one, so you got it here. There you have it, Scott. Very, very interesting. What's the process? I love cows. Just roll through. 
two, three of my four 10 minute segments. Uh, that's 5.30 pace, so we're ahead of schedule, just a fuzz. Um, overall feeling good. The only thing that's bothering me is my bum leg, but that's nothing new. So, get one through one more, comfortable. Cool down, hit some strides, and call it a day. So the other thing, you know, we're, we're on positives now. The other thing about Brad that I think is really awesome is that he is so goal-driven. That's really hard to stick with, and I really see him doing that time and time again with work, with play, with running. You know, it's awesome. What's Good. up, guys? Just finished 17 miles. Uh, my last two uh, 10 minute reps were a 5.9 pace, pretty hilly. Uh, definitely windy the last uh, five minutes of the last segment. That was pretty rough, but we got her done. About to hit. Uh, for 150 meter strides, so about 21, 22 seconds, and then we're gonna go home and call it a day. So, shout out to my mom for driving along. Woohoo! What's up, guys? Here with Rhonda. Um, got the run done. Definitely feeling uh, not too bad right now. That wind was a little cold the last few, so that was a little rough, but uh. Yeah, we're gonna go back, watch the Michigan State game, and uh, go white, and uh, call it a day. Um, we don't know exactly where we're at. We're just kind of cruising <laughs> the right direction. So, so I'd say it was a good day. <laughs>